you obviously enjoyed a great run in the Europa League last season, the Champions League clearly a step up. What, what has been the biggest difference going from one competition to another? Just just the standard of players, just the the uh, the obvious really, the standard of player, the standard of team is it is it, it's miles apart, of course it is. It's the Champions League. Europa League's a great a great competition and we were over the moon and and done so well to reach the, the final of it, but the Champions League is a, is a undoubtedly a step up, yeah. Just looking at the makeup of this group and how it's shaping up, is this a must-win game tomorrow? Uh, I think if we want to, if we want to get anything out of the group, you'd say so probably. Yeah. Um, I think if we if we get a result tomorrow, um, and then we've got two massive massive games um, that we can, we can, especially at Ibrox against Ajax, we can we can try and get a result there. So um, I'd say probably if you want to if you want to try and do something, you've got, you've got to get a result. Yeah. Given that, then John, what needs to change in terms of approach to try and get something from the game? Um, what needs to change? Our game plan going into the last game wasn't the much dissimilar to what we we're going to try and do tomorrow. We 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 went to Anfield trying to get a result, um, and we're going to do the same tomorrow. We'll we'll be coming off the traps at Ibrox with everyone behind us, trying to trying to put some pressure on them, trying to trying to start quick as as we always do. Um, of course, at Anfield we tried to do the same, but. Playing at Anfield, it's they they've got the the back and behind them. It's a tough place to go, as as world football knows. Um, but no, at Ibrox now, it's it is going to be different. Um, and hopefully, everyone behind us, we we can we can do something special. I spoke to the manager about the the players and the team getting their confidence and their swagger back, mainly in attack as well. A lot of chances getting created, a lot of goals domestically getting created. How is the atmosphere in the dressing room, and do you feel like there's a confidence? amongst the squad now, individually and collectively, that they're starting to get back to where we want to be. And how does that set you up ahead of tomorrow night to go and have a real good go? Yeah, I think you're right. I think I think the last few weeks has been better. It's been more flowing. Um, lots more chances created and a lot better individual performances as well, along with that, which helps. <laughs> um, but no, as, as you say, going into tomorrow, I think everyone does believe that we can get a result. Um, I don't think we... You should be fielding a team if you didn't think that. Um, of course, you've got to. You've got to go in with belief and you've got to believe that you can you can get three points. So, you know, going in with loads, loads of confidence, the atmosphere is great within the team. We're all all really close and, and raring to go. Um, had an extra day than Liverpool to recover and, and go as well. So, hopefully that plays a part. Hi, John. Did you Have you enjoyed the pressure of the Champions League so far in terms of the game so far? And obviously this game, uh, the context of it being another game between the Scottish side and the English side, do you relish what that pressure brings and looking forward to the game as well? Uh, I haven't enjoyed the results, no, not one bit. Um, going into the games before the results, of course, everyone's excited and, and you want to go and do your best and showcase what you've got, but the results haven't been good enough. It's Everyone can see that, but um, we don't like it just as much as, as everyone watching us and supporting us. Um, and obviously we're going to go into the game tomorrow trying to rectify that. We need some points on the board if we want to if we want to get something off the group. So um, definitely going to win the game, and, and that's that's what we're going to do. John, how disappointed were you after the result last week? And are the squad going to need the spirit they showed last season to win this game tomorrow night? Disappointed, of course, to to lose a football match. You'd always are um, going to Anfield. We knew how tough it was going to be. Um, everyone was talking about they were in a sticky patch, but still Liverpool Football Club. Still a massive, massive team who's, who've achieved great things, and um, they're going through a bit of a. I'm seeing in the media a tough spell, but it's not a crisis. They just, they just had a couple of poor results. Um, they're still an unbelievable team with unbelievable players, unbelievable manager. Um, so again, we're under no illusions that it's going to be a tough night. Even though we are at home, we're gonna, we're gonna try and put the pressure on them and take the game to them. But we're under no illusions that it's going to be a tough night for us. What what happens to this Rangers team at Ibrox? Where you just seem to be a, a different animal. Is that for your comment? Yeah, you could say. I, I just think I just think there's something special about Ibrox. Anyone who's been here on big European nights and, and felt felt the atmosphere, felt the aura around the place. Um, there's just something that happens underneath the lights here, and I don't know I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but um, I think every it just gets everyone, and and it just gives you a lift. It's there's just something in the air, and uh, hopefully that can be the same again tomorrow. John, how, how do you assess your own performance last week up against the quality midfield, obviously, and Thiago and Henderson, and how determined are you tomorrow to um, you know, be on the right end of the result against such quality opposition? Yeah, no, it's, it's great to come up against these players, but they're on the other, other team, and you've got to try and block that out. You've just got to play your own game and um, show them respect to a certain extent, but at the same time, 
show them no respect as well. Um, just try and get in amongst it. And I think there's a lot of players can be great players when you've got time on the ball. I think all of us are great players when we've got time on the ball. But when you get in someone's face, um, things change. And hopefully, if, if if we can do that and our midfield match their midfield tomorrow, I think it'll be key. And um, as long as we're up against them and and laying laying a glove on them, then hopefully we can get some. John, just wanted to ask you what you learned from the first game. Obviously, Liverpool changed their shape a bit. Was that difficult for you to get up to the midfield when you've got four attackers for Liverpool? And is that something that going into the second game you think the team will have learned from? Yes, they have changed it of late. Um, it wasn't uh, three against three, what we expected and um, what it has been. But you've got to adapt. And the second, second half in the last week, I thought we... We got our shape a lot better and we got up to them. Um, had a couple of chances, as, as you've seen. They've scored off two set pieces and we've had two big chances. So um could have been a bit different. Of course, they dominated the game and dominated possession and created loads of other chances as well. But um no, you've just got to, you've got to adapt in times like that going into tomorrow again. We don't know whether it's gonna be a four four two or a four three three, what they usually play. They've had a few injuries and, and whatnot in the press that's getting getting highlighted. So just to know what they're going to bring, but we know what we're going to bring, so that's what we'll have to focus on. John, did, you, did your friends on Merseyside give you a hard time after last week's result, or were they sympathetic, or what was their response? <laughs> I didn't even want to speak to any of them, to be honest. Um, no, they, they're just all, just all happy that I'm playing at the stage I'm playing at now, um, more, than, more than any in the overriding, the overriding thing for me, friends and family, is, is pride, which is, which is nice, so... Um, yeah, wasn't didn't really want to speak to them, but I had a few nice messages along the way as well. John, you've sort of touched on aggression there. Do you think that is sort of the key to getting a result tomorrow, showing aggression, but in the right way? The manager just said there about the importance of keeping 11 men on the park. So do you think that could be the key to a victory tomorrow? It would help, wouldn't it? Keeping 11 men on the park, yeah. Um, yeah, at Ibrox, it's got to be key. You've got to get up against people and get the crowd up, get the crowd going and try and instill a bit of fear, instill a bit of fear in them. I think if we can get up to them and really get in the faces and be brave in defending, it might leave us open a little bit at times and everyone's got to be brave in the stands and, and bear with us. But um, I think if we can do that, that's probably the only way we'd be able to get a result. No good sitting off a team like Liverpool. They're, they're obviously really talented.